Hey, what is up guys? Instantly Sir SG here. So today, I'm back at Drake's house and I am with Glenn and Wei Chiang again. Say hi. Hello. Bye bye. Wei Chiang is dead, like he's beside me and he's dead and Drake is laughing at his corpse. <laughs> hey, wake up. Bye. <laughs> okay, so today I got Drake's uh, complete but not double sleep Gear Emperor deck, the very expensive and very stealable and totally not gonna steal it in front of him and like, run out of his house and yeah. just leave my Fitbit here and nah joking okay so we got Drake's Gear Emperor deck today and here's a deck review of it uh, sadly I won't be doing a deck strat on this deck because uh, deck strats are only for the whole the Insanis group's uh, decks like uh, my deck or Glenn's deck or Wei Chiang's deck eh. and Drake is sadly not part of us so <laughs> yeah for Stunning Vanguard, uh, he plays uh, Baby Kamara. Oh, oh shoot! Uh, God damn it. Uh, Let's continue. Yeah, continue, I don't care. <laughs> so for Stunning Vanguard, he runs Baby Kamara. Um, yep, only one. Drake, you don't know how to play Tachikaze? Uh, next, for Gia Emperor, the boss card of the deck. Why no SP? Yeah, Drake. Wait, wait, no. Bushio didn't, Bushio didn't even release an SP for Gear Emperor, I think. Oh, really? Bro? Yeah. I think all the strike card don't have. Like the generation breakers. Mm. And next, he runs four Tyranno Brutes. Mm. Tyranno Brute, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. They are all Brutes. Like your mom last night. Aww. And now for the grade 2s, he runs four Apato Mazel. I'm a fire in my laser! <sighs> uh, next. He runs uh, for Jigsosaurus. This is the Amber clone for the deck. Very good, very pressurizing. Next, he runs for Sarko Blazers. The Silent Tom for Tachikaze that is 9k and totally can wreck you up. I hate this card. It's a common card somewhere. A common 9k Silent Tom. That is what, what happens to the, the double rare Silent Tom that was even more rare than a triple rare back then? Uh, more expensive, you mean. Next, for Great Ones, he runs uh, one Savage Heroine. Because Drake is a pervert. <laughs> Let me take that out and put a Dark Rex or something. You uh. can put one more starter, you know. Yeah, I tell you, play two baby camera, you know. Yeah, no, I'm going to put one Savage Heroine inside. Okay, I used to <laughs> Next, uh, he runs four Freezer. Next, this guy is super important in your deck. When he combos with uh, Apato Mesa and shit. And next for Prison Bird, the strike folder for Tachikaze. No Xiao bird bird. Xiao bird bird. Next uh one, two, three. Double red of the Unflipper Negate. And one SP because Drake is very rich. Of the You should have gotten four SP. Yeah lo. Glenn how you come out SP, best English ever. Yeah. Worst okay. I came out. <laughs> Next for trigger lineup, he plays uh, four critical triggers. The one that supports, uh, what's that guy's name again? Gia yeah, Emperor. Yeah. Gaia. <laughs> Gaia. Guy. Guy. Uh, okay, so, yep, four of him. I'm to steal this four. Steal only. And four of this uh, draw trigger that used to be so OP because it was so difficult to find, but now it's a common. It's a Magal clone. Next, uh, four stand triggers. I am. Right yeah, but yeah. This got reprint, right? Yeah, this is the reprint. When when was the previous release? Uh? Literally in BT02 as a promo. What? But it's a magazine kind of promo. And back oh then, Bushio didn't uh, release much promo, so. It was very rare. Yep, very hard to find. That's what she said. Shut up, Glenn. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> okay, Ow. let's go. Next, uh, he runs four stand triggers. I have no idea. You have nothing to stand. Why do you play stand triggers, bro? That's Okay, oh well. <laughs> okay, good enough. Huh? Fair enough. Next, uh, four huge triggers. Okay, and now uh, I'm done with the actual deck himself. Uh, so now let's go on to the strike deck. A very expensive and stealable strike deck that I totally won't steal and uh, beat Drake up. I don't care about the first card, I only care about the next four after that. Okay, so he plays one of the disappointing GR. <sighs> Drake. Why? No, rather it's Bushiro. Your Emata! Your Emata! Bushiro, why? Why did they make this card into a GR? Why? They should have left it as a rare. Why are you so bad? 
And uh, four dogmas. Oh Dogma. Four dogma. Four dogema. It's a dog. Four dogema. A <laughs> doge. And three of the rare strides. Yep. So uh, on to the effects of the cards. Um, first of all, baby Kamara. If y'all didn't watch my Rex deck profile, I'm gonna explain it to you guys again because he's Drake's deck and he only runs one baby Kamara Drake. Oh. <laughs> so first of all, it's a forerunner. If you don't know what forerunner is, stop playing Vanguard. And uh, his generation break ability allows you to counter blast one. If he's retired, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for a great one touch Kazi unit and call it to your Rega circle. If you put a rear guard uh, to the field this way, that rear guard gains plus 3000 power. Next for Gia Emperor. Okay, so first it has an Engorge ability. What Engorge does is uh, it allows you to retire one or more of your rear guards to gain a special effect. And in Gia Emperor's case, it's his Generation Break 2 ability, which allows him to plus 5001 critical if he's in the Engorge state. And um, when something strikes over him, be it a create elemental or, or anything at all, you can counter blast one. If you do, such a <laughs> special appearance. Favorite disciple of light and dark. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> so uh ah, back to the deck. So um as I was saying, his counter blast ability allows you to um put up to two cards from your hand into your field. Uh if you do, choose up to two of your units and those units gain the ability to uh, wait, you have to put two cards from your hand into the field. If you do, choose up to two cards from your field and they gain an effect. When this unit is being retired, you can put this card into your uh, rear, rear guard zone. So, pretty good. It gives your opponent the re it, gives, it gives your rear guard the revival ability, which is uh, quite useful sometimes, especially with baby Kamara. Uh, again, I won't be doing a deck strat on this video, so sorry guys. Uh, next for Tyranno Brute's ability, it also has Engorge and his generation break ability allows you allows him to plus 5000 for each uh for each card that's in Engorge ability and it's a rare guard effect only so yeah his counter blast and soul blast ability um allows you to uh, search your top 5 cards for Engorge card and put it into your hand provided if he appears in the Vanguard circle so pretty good pretty good yeah. and Glenn is like smiling at me creepily and there he is I'm going to hit his nuts now Ah. I just crushed your nuts though. So another special appearance by Flo Girl. Now you know why Wei Chiang is the Paladin's part of Insert Insert. Just time leap from BTO1 all the way to GPTO3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next for Apato Mazer's ability. He also has Engorge. Wow, everybody has Engorge! I'm gonna get enraged soon. What? You're gonna get raped soon? Enraged. Oh. Oh, uh, wait, uh, Drake. Can we have the New Year snack again? Even though it's not New Year anymore. Yeah. The Bobo snack. <laughs> These nuts. Okay, okay, so back to topic. It also has Engorge in a Vanguard or Rega Circle, and his generation break ability allows you to counter blast one and soul blast one. If this unit is if you this if this unit is attacking and he's engorged, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gains plus 2000 power and uh you what? Drake, what's Apato Mazer's ability again? What's Apato Mazer's ability? Uh, you get to do something and plus 5k, right? Uh, yeah. You retire? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe retire one, you need hit plus 5k, right? Uh, I think I'll take you with Ah, yeah, that. So, Drake just explained it. Another guest star by Glenn Go. Next, uh, Jigsosaurus. Okay, so as uh, as I was saying, he's an Ember Clone, which uh, is the Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1. If this unit is being boosted and attacking, you can retire one of your own rear guards. If you do, he gains plus 5,000 power and uh, you get to retire one of your opponent's rear guards. And if his attack hits, you can draw one card. So that's a pretty interesting mechanic for, for uh, Touch Kaze, despite their own uh, retiring. You get to gain the advantage from drawing and retiring one of your opponent's rear guards. So next for Sarko Blaze, pretty self-explanatory. He's a silent tom if you are in engorge form. And yeah, it's also a generation. Oh wait, doesn't need generation break eh? Oh my god, a silent oh tom. Oh my god. Drake. 
The Sarko Blaze is oh broken. So basically, you only have to retire one rear guard. Yeah. To be a sign top. Yes. And uh, this is an unfrequent negate. When this unit appears in the Guardian Circle, and if you uh, one more copy in your job zone, you can upgrade one damage. Yes, you can counter charge one. You must go official time, not bullshit troll. Uh, I mean, bullshit road will, <laughs> <laughs> will be angry at us. Oh, ball ball. Wow, so much. Uh. That's what she said. There are a lot of balls. Balls. Another bug girl. He wants my balls. Hmm? He's a bug girl. Um, snack break. Mm. Alright. Okay, on to the other cards. So, as I say again, Prison Bird. <laughs> We don't even need to explain folders. He's a strike folder, which allows you to, uh, which allows him to be a great three when you toss him up for strike. And this, if this unit appears in a rearguard circle, you get to uh, review a great three from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a card named Gear Emperor, uh, with a uh, card named Gear Emperor, and put it into your hand. If you put a card named Gear Emperor into your hand this way, you can discard one card from your hand. Oh, damn! Damn! Ouch! They bo- uh, the, the camera is falling everywhere. Glenn, hold on to this. <laughs> you saw? <laughs> and then five minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Reason X, why I say he's the main card, uh, he's the main retirer of the deck, is because uh, his generation back ability allows you to counter charge one and soul charge one if he is being retired. And the plus 2k, I have no idea. Drake, uh, the, soul, the, soul, the plus 2k ability is what? Uh? Huh? For free Sonics. He, 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 he so why Mega plus 2k? He, he plus 2k, right? Oh, he himself plus 2k. No. 9k, ah. How? I mean, you really come out, right? Oh, yeah. no, it's two sides, no, it's two sides, it's two sides, sorry. It's two sides. Yeah, wow, great. Sorry, he guy really plus 2k for what, yeah? <laughs> so you have a 9k in your job, Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, how about the energy? So... Uh, balls next. Balls from me to you. Okay, so Savage Heroine, she also has Engorge. Yeah, she eats dinosaurs for a living. Just look at that cat. Okay, so um, this unit has the same effect as um, as a Tyranno, Tyranno Brute's ability, which is uh, except that she is a plus 3000 instead of a 5000. So that's pretty interesting as well. And of course, um, Bombard, Bombardosaurus, uh, that's what I like calling him, Bombardosaurus. Uh, put this unit to your soul, if a card named Gia, uh, if, if a card with Gia Emperor in the same attacks, you may pay Gia, the cost. Gia. Gia, whatever. You may pay the cost if you do, that that Gia gains plus 5,000 power and you get to draw a card. So, yep. This guy is a Bargao, you put him into your soul from a regular circle, if you do, you choose one unit plus 3,000. The sand trigger effect, you get to what the hell? E. <laughs> and so, Drake decided to do some art and draw an Alfred that is like awesome. Solus. Technically, he is Solus. <sighs> okay. So, um, this Wales Generation Break ability allows you to put this card from put this card from your drop zone into your deck. So, his ability is when this unit is put to a miracle circle into your drop zone. Choose one unit and that unit plus 5,000 power. If you do, put this card back into your deck and shuffle. And a huge trigger mobility. So, that is it for this video, guys. As I said again, there will be no deck strat for this video. So, don't comment. Where's the deck strat for the Tachikaze deck? Uh, if he decides to be one DR and breath on himself, then probably will. Yeah, and if Glenn decides to sponsor me for that. Uh, no, no way I will. I will. <laughs> you fell into balls. Mama. These Ball. nuts. Mama. Okay, okay, Drake. let's end this video. Drake, get a bigger table next time. Let's end this video. Bye bye. Goodbye.